Questions in the y value. Any question on the x values of 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi? And it was grouped with the x in the parentheses. Yep. Yes, Jamal. How did you get that? So because there was nothing affecting the x values, the 3 affects the y's and the 1 affects the y's, that means we're using the original 5 y values, or x values we would have. The zero, pi over two, pi, three, pi over two, 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 two. We use the ones from the unit. Decay. Okay. What? It starts with the one, zero, negative one, and then it would be adjusted from there. Decay. Okay. You should have y values being used of zero. 1 and negative 2. Your first x value should not be on the axis. Your first x value should be at pi. And then it's pi, 3 pi over 2, 2 pi, 5 pi over 2, 3 pi. So some graph wave. Show your work. Uh, what was your first one? We add, because we always do the opposite for the x's. For so do you need to see the work for the x's or for the y's to KV? Or for both? For both? So for the y's, it originally started with the 1, the 0, and the negative 1. The only transformation that's affecting the y values in that problem is that minus 1. So I subtract 1 from all three of those. 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 minus 1 is negative 1, negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. That's how I got my three values of 0, negative 1, and negative 2. After that, then we're looking at our x values. Those started with 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. The thing that's affecting them is that pi, we always do x as the opposite, so instead of subtracting pi, we are adding pi to each of those five. Three of those five, hopefully you would not need a calculator for. Zero plus pi is pi. Pi plus pi is two pi. Two pi plus one pi is three pi. Those three, ideally, you don't need a calculator to be able to do. For the last two, if you're going to need to do them on a calculator, that is fine. We started with... 1 pi over 2, we added 1, we turn it into a fraction of 3 over 2, so that would be 3 pi over 2. Same thing with the fourth one, we started with a fraction of 3 pi over 2, we added 1 pi, we turn that into the fraction of 5 over 2, which will give me 5 pi over 2. Cosine starts at the top, so I'm just matching them up. Pi with zero, then to the middle, then to the bottom, then back to the middle, and then back to the top. Yes. Jamal. Can you zoom in where you put the pi plus zero for the pi? I did put it to the right of the original axis line. Because that axis is going to be zero. We don't need to start it at zero. We need to start it at some positive number. So that's why I just started it to the right of zero. Again, you should get y values of zero, negative one, negative two, the same three y values we got last time. Um, and then you have new x values of zero, pi over four, pi over two. 3 pi over 4 and pi. Again, it's cosine, so it's going from the middle, or sorry, from the top, to the middle, to the bottom, to the middle, to the top.
Any questions on number three? Uh, does this mean like four through six are about to be the homework? For tonight? Yes, sir. Mm, I don't get these now. Well, that's why we're spending the rest of class today. Hopefully 75 minutes from now, you will be better than you are currently. I hope so. Or at the very least, you won't be worse off. Yes, Mr. Ash. Uh, so what made How do you know to subtract it or to have a negative with a negative? Like instead of having a higher value over zero, would it have like one? Um, the y's always do exactly what it reads as. So because that's minus one, that's why I was subtracting one from it. So it all depends on what we're having new from it. If I had to multiply it by a number, then I would have larger numbers in there, so I'd have numbers up top and below instead. So it's really fully dependent on um, what's actually going on in the problem. I just did. Yep. Oh, it's broken just part of me. The one we subtracted affected the y values. So we had to do two completely different sets of problems on two completely different sets of numbers. I, I think I did. Those are homework for me. So you might need to redo them because the first three were the same. What? I got the same answer. For the okay. Well, how did you do it? I took the original x values and divided by two. Okay. Yeah, I did that. 